Libya failed to hold presidential elections on December 24th, raising anxiety about the future of the country and the fragile peace process. One candidate said that it's essential to mobilize public opinion. Sherif Alwafi, one of the presidential candidates, said that the electoral process is fading away and therefore they must study this matter in order to at least move the Libyan opinion or the electoral voters because the 2,800,000 2, voters have a direct impact on the candidates, whether presidential or parliamentary. Another presidential hopeful wants the involvement of the international community, namely the European Union and the United Nations. Ali al Majdoub said that they will speak to the international community, the European Union and the United Nations mission and will oblige them to take a serious stand at this stage and not as a matter of deception or cooperation with the idea of forming a transitional government whose term could extend to six or seven years, wasting these elections. As for the parliament or the High Council of State, Ali claimed that if they wanted to have a word with them, he would be ready to talk to them. Last Thursday, Libyan presidential candidates introduced an initiative to the United Nations mission in the country.